at LaSalle Speedway with tonight's A main feature winner, Tim Kading, and a hard fought A main. We had four cautions and a red before we even really got going, and you held on for first. You had uh, Donnie was kind of closing in on you in lap traffic, but you held him off to win spectacular tonight. Yeah, you know, uh, Donnie's always good when uh, the tracks kind of slick off and they can tip toe around the middle or the bottom. And, um, you know, the entire STP teams, uh, it's a tough. Uh, tough bunch of guys they get out there and they put us uh, they make us work for it you know so uh, to be able to beat Donnie at any racetrack is, is a feat within itself so um, you know I got one great crew here with Rob John and Brandon and the entire Roth Enterprise car and um, you know we're, we're gunning for the wins now you know we're just trying to have fun and uh, Try not to do anything stupid. <laughs> well, you've been impressive all year this, Tim. This is win number six on the season, and you come to these high bank bull rings, and you definitely dominate growing up in California around those tracks, and you definitely showed that tonight. Yeah, you know, this is, uh, I would say, almost like Tulare on steroids here. You know, <laughs> it's uh, kind of cross between there and Chico, which uh, two tracks that I run great at. So, um, you know, to be able to run good on the bull rings, it's been awesome. Uh, we, we struggle a little bit on the half mile. Uh, we need to get our half mile program going, but I think we got something for them when it, uh, we get to the big races this uh, next month or so. So, you know, we're going to keep this Roth Enterprise 83 car running hard and, uh, you know, keep Dennis and Teresa Roth uh, happy back home. Well, you put on a great show for the fans, slide job after slide job with lap traffic and everything, and congratulations on your sixth place or your sixth win, excuse me, Tim. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, I'm five spots ahead. But no, your sixth win of the season. You said sixth place. <laughs> I know I meant sixth win of the season. Whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank STP and uh, World of Outlaws, Hoosier Tires, um, everybody with Roth Motorsports, and uh, everybody that's listening back home in California. We've got another one. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> thank you. Well, I'm here with tonight's second place finisher and a hard fought second, Donnie Schatz. You were running the bottom better than anybody out there, and you enclosed on Tim Kading and lap traffic, but just didn't quite have enough to pass him. Well, we tried. Um, we got to him. Just couldn't, didn't get enough to get by. You know, a couple times I thought we were gonna. We needed him to make a mistake, and uh, he just didn't make it. So, you know, we uh, worked to get the car, hard to get the car good. We got it a lot better. Uh, I think I had a little better car, but he just outdrove me a little bit. You definitely run the bottom better than anybody else. What do you do in the car? I know the guys work really hard. But what do you do in the car to keep it on the bottom and keep up your speed? <laughs> There's a hundred things. You just have to change your driving style for it. You know, it's uh, it's a little bit difficult when you get on the cushion and you got to get the right rear frying versus uh, you know getting on the bottom. You got to be really controlled on the throttle, and it's uh, it's a double-edged sword. It can bite you a lot. Um, you know, we do make some. You got to do things to pass cars. That's the thing. Uh, wide open racetracks anymore. It's hard to pass. So we're doing things to try to make uh, run parts of the racetrack no one else can run. And uh, we got a good start on it, but we got a long way to go. We were definitely doing that tonight in a hard-fought second. Congratulations, Donnie Schatz. Thank you. Thanks, Natalie. I'm here with tonight's third-place finisher, Craig Delansky. We had a good battle with Paul McMahon for third and fourth, and you ended up third. You were passing cars inside, outside, getting in lap traffic, working it really good. Yeah, you know, really it uh, took me a little bit to uh, figure out where my car would work best, and, um, you know, my team did a great job. I mean, we had a, we had a pretty decent race car there. There's a couple things we would have done different to uh, make it a little bit better, but you know, all in all, to start eighth and come out of there with a top three was a, was a good run for our Icon Trail camera team. And, um, you know, we'll go to work on things for tomorrow night. It's a long weekend here, three races in a row. But, um, you know, uh, to get a podium out of uh, tonight was good. And got a lot of good people behind his team. You know, Brian Morrison does a good job with our motor program, Maxim Race Cars and Integra. And uh, Aggressive Hydraulics, just uh, everybody uh, that supports this race team, uh, Mobile Star, it's a good run for them. Starting eighth, like you said, it had to be a fun track to, you know, pull a couple slide jobs here and there on these guys to get them. Yeah, I mean, we were coming on them guys pretty good there at the end, but, um, you know, some of them lap cars took a little longer to get clear of than others. And, um, you know, Tim was pretty good. Tim, good. Tim did a good job. Uh, Donnie looked like he was operating pretty good as well. So, you know, again, uh, you know, it's tough competition out here. So uh, come out with a third. We'll, uh, we'll take that and go, go to work for tomorrow. Well, congratulations to Craig Delansky on our third-place finish. Thank you. Thanks, Craig.